Now that you can turn your tablet on, let's discuss some of the buttons and apps that you will find on the tablet's screen. Let's start with the main function buttons on the bottom of the screen in the shape of a triangle, circle, and square. The circle button acts as a home button and will return you back to the main screen. The triangle button is a back button, similar to the back arrow found in web browsers. When you hit the back button, it takes you one step back in any application you have open. Finally is the square pages button. When you tap on the pages button, it opens all the running applications, similar to that on a touchscreen cell phone. Knowing the functions of these three buttons will make utilizing the tablet in your classroom efficient. You'll be able to pull up all the resources you will need for the day and be able to toggle between those resources using the Pages button. Now, let's discuss some apps that you will find already downloaded onto your tablet. You have a Google Home app that displays the settings for the Google Chromecast device used to transfer the images from your tablet to the projector, and the Google Play Store, which is an app that allows you to look up and download additional apps. We will discuss the Play Store in more detail later in the module. There is also a Google Chrome app, which is your internet search engine app. There is also an additional Google search bar located at the top of the screen that will also search the internet. The last Google app is the Gmail app, where you can access your school email account. Additional apps that we will discuss in more detail later are the Draw on Screen app, the Camera app, YouTube, and File Manager app. Finally, by swiping left, you will see a second landing page of more apps, most that you will not use in the classroom, but come standard on the tablet. This includes your Contacts app, Calculator, Clock, Voice Search, and Settings. You will also find the Files app that houses all the documents and photos stored on your tablet. One last thing that will be useful is knowing how to close all the apps that you have opened at the end of the day to conserve battery. By selecting the Pages button, you open up all the running apps. By pressing on an app preview and sliding it to the left or the right, it closes out the application. Continue closing out all the apps until it returns back to the home screen.